Welcome to Fish and Magician TV with Dave Graybill. Brought to you by Hooked on Toys, Town Ford, Lyle's Boats, Grand Coulee Dam Area Chamber of Commerce, Cooley Playland, Battery Systems, Bob File Boats and Motors, Lake Pateras Inn, and Gaboon Productions. Well, once again, we're on the Columbia River with our good friend Shane Magnuson, Upper Columbia Guide Services. We are so excited. Just look around us. What a gorgeous steelhead day. We've got steam just boiling off the river. This is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we figure it's about 17 degrees. So the strategy, which I really appreciate, Shane, is going to be to pull plugs for staying in the morning before we switch to bobbers and jigs. We're in after steelhead here on the Upper Columbia. Just put the boat in at Bridgeport which is one of my favorite stretches of the Columbia to fish for steelhead in the winter. We've had some great times up here. We caught a lot of fish up here. Dave. We have caught a lot of fish up here in this stretch. And on board with us today is Lauren and Reed from the Heavy Beats Company. Got Eric on the camera, of course, Mr. Grandstrom. And we are ready to put some rods out and see if the steelhead are gonna bite. This morning here, Bridgeport, on the Upper Columbia in search of steelhead. All right, Shane, let's uh, talk about uh, where we are and what the approach is and why we're doing what we're doing now and why we'll change later. Sounds good. Well, um, right now we're doing uh, one of my favorite things that we do in cold weather. And uh, Right now it's pretty cold out here this morning. It's well below freezing. Um, bomber fishing gets a little tough when it's real cold just because of icing up problems. Um, the other thing is, is when it's real cold in the mornings, the Columbia tends to run a lot of water. So we've gone to plug fishing this morning. We're back trolling plugs. Um, right now we have on some uh, 3.5 uh, maglip plugs. They're uh, real effective for the steelhead. Um, single barbless hooks. They, uh, they have a nice searching action. Uh, steelhead really like a lot of the metallic colors up here, metallic pinks, uh, metallic oranges, metallic silver, uh, all very good colors for steelhead up here. Um, right now, we're just uh, running the plugs bare. Uh, they have the most action when they're bare, and so I'm running them through bare with just some scent on them. Um, we got them doused in the gray bill scents, the sand shrimp and the steelhead. And and we're taking some passes through here, up here in Bridgeport, there's a bank line with a lot of rocks where the steelhead sit behind the rocks as the current runs over and they're good ambush points. And we're just slowly backing these plugs down on top of the fish, um, kind of creating that reaction upset bite. The fish are sitting there swimming nice and easily in the current and the rocks and this plug comes rattling in their face and they, they want to instantly snap at it. Um, we make a couple passes here with the bare plugs. Uh, we'll probably go to playing with some wrap plugs, and I like to take just uh, just my basic coon shrimp, and my my coon stripe shrimp here that's brined up and pretty, um, and I'll break the tails off, and I will uh, I'll wrap that on on the bottom of one of these plugs right here with stretchy thread, just to give that plug a little bit more smell and and uh, desire if if they don't want them bare. But uh, yeah, that's what we're starting out with this morning. Um, sun's coming up, it's getting nice. I think we're due for a bite. Now when we, you, uh, when we buy these plugs off the rack, uh, they don't come with the single hook, right? Right, yeah, when you get these plugs off the rack, they, uh, they come with trebles on uh, both the, the belly hook and on the tail. Um, up here on plugs, we have to run single barbless, and so, uh, and for the most part, a side wash hook has a little better hookup ratio on these plugs anyway. So what this is, is this is a number seven barrel swivel on that black spillet ring, and then this is a big river side wash, a, a one-aught. And one-aught or two-aught works good on these 3.5s. And then of course, they'll leave the belly bare. Okay, 
And how about our rods we're using this morning? Uh, our plug rods, our uh, Lama Glass rods. They are the, the Kenai Quick Series rods. Um, they're the 801s. They're uh, eight foot long, one piece rods. They have a real soft tip. They are made just for uh, light plug fishing for steelhead. Uh, very effective. On them we have Abu Garcia 5500 reels uh, topped with um, 40 pound braid. And uh, I like to use some color braid because I can see it and I know where it's at. And that braid really helps on hook sets. We want these, uh, when these fish grab these plugs in turn, we want to make sure they, they get hooked right there in the rod holder. Um, and it makes it easy to get out and get, a, get up tight on them. And, uh, and off we go. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built for Tough Truck event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built for tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Grable, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. Oh. The Evan Root e -Tech. It's a dream come true. For e -Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyle's Boats and Motors in Kashmir. So uh, now we've uh, we've mid passed through and we didn't get bit. So we're going. We uh, took and wrapped the plugs with a, uh, with a little shrimp tail there on the bottom. We're going to add a little smell to them, see if see if that can help. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of the plugs and we're going to add a heavy bead to it. We're going to stick this heavy bead, oh, about eight or ten inches in front of the plug up here on the line, and it's going to be offset on the line a little bit, and that's going to change the action of the plug. It's uh, not only going to help it dig a little bit, but because of that little bit of weight and color of the bead on the front of the line, it's going to take that plug and make it uh, a little bit more erratic. So, go ahead, Reed. He's got the uh, the rubber band through the heavy bead, and we just slid the plug through. We're going to tighten that down on there like so and uh, trim the heavy band off and that's all there is to it and that that heavy bead's going to sit right in front of the plug like that and uh, and that's going to wobble back and forth and it's going to do a couple things change the action of the plug and also look like the, make the plug look like maybe it's chasing a little egg or something teach that steelhead he's not real Feisty. Not real feisty. Nice little steely though. There you go. Heavy beat steely. Alright, got it. Pretty fish. He is a pretty fish. Straight this out here. Cool. Gotcha. Hey, guess what? He's a hatchery fish too. Awesome. What do you know? Okay. Look, look at that right there. What's that? Oh, yeah, man. That's a heavy beast flash orange. Sweet, mm -hmm. Oh, nice little fish. He's cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty picture. That's a nice fish right there. Nice full plug fish. Hey. Very good. Awesome. Nice job. Put it in time and go, we got guys. it. Nice. <laughs> go, Shane. You know, Dave, we uh, we came through this stretch earlier with bobbers and we couldn't get them to bite. We came back through it with plugs and got them to go. You know, that's really interesting too because, you know, uh, 
jigs are such a slow presentation and this takes a little bit more aggressive. That's yeah. what it's taking, huh? Yeah, just be sticking it on their nose and making them bite it, I think. Fight or flight. Nice fish. Ooh. Yeah. That is a nice fish. Nice. Oh, hey, there you go. Heavy. Nice. All right. Look Holy heavy. Cow. Look at him. That's a wild fish. We've got to keep him in the water, but she rolled herself all up. Nice. Well, head. yeah, I could feel that. Look at the size. That's a nice steelhead. That's a beauty. Yeah, that's pretty. She got wow. herself all wrapped up, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet here. Is it a hatchery? No, yeah. it's a wild. We've got to keep her in the water. Hop in there, Dave, and get a picture. Yeah. I'm going to get nice that out day. first. Yeah, good. Good job, Shane. Let's see if I can get some wind her. Oh. Look at the size. Nice. Oh, there we go. My goodness. Leave it to the magician. Isn't that a beauty? Alright. There we go. We can't pull them out here, but. What do you think, Shane? Hey. Size wise. That's nine pounds. Oh, Ten pounds. Man. Nice fat hen. Yeah, at least fifteen. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Look at how thick she is. Here we go. That's a beauty. Look at the shape she's in. Uh, My goodness. Beautiful fish. Oh, that's just classic. That's a steelhead. Classic color. Look at that. Whoa! Ah, she goes. Very, very nice. Oh, good, good job, Nice Shane. fish. That water's cold. <laughs> it is cold, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Boy, that was the strangest hit. It just played and she played. She chewed on it, played. chewed on it, and yeah. finally took it off. Straight out, yeah. <laughs> and I knew something was weird. I don't know when she did that, but right every time she jumped or ran, I felt this. This you know, rolling. Yeah. yeah. Very weird. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> but we got her in, and you got her done, Shane. Should we go nice through there job. one more time? What time we got? You know, I'm not sure. But it might be Anybody worth got the clock? But we might we is... might want to go through there once more with those plugs. Yeah. Tell you what? 231. We got time. Let's well, go. let's pull a plug through there again. Ha ha ha! All right. Hi, I'm Dave Grayville, the fishing magician, and I'm sitting in front of the Lake Pateras Inn. Lake Pateras Inn is one of the most convenient places you can stay if you like to fish for salmon or steelhead on the Upper Columbia River. You can moor your boat at the dock, or there are two ramps within yards. They have outdoor power so you can charge your electric motor. Rooms are clean and comfortable and very affordable. Everything you need is right here at the Lake Pateras Inn. Don't make plans to store your boat for the off-season until you've checked out the Super Package from Bob File Boats and Motors. With this package, you just drop your boat off for winterizing, and they take it from there. When you pick it up in the spring, it'll be ready to go for the next season. There are too many features in the Super Package to list here, so get the details, 509-884-3558. Bob File Boats and Motors, we're dealing. Bob File's gonna make you smile. Is he going underneath the boat, Lauren? Sure is. 
Is that that heavy beach plug again? Yep. 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 Nice. Take your time. Oh, yeah. Nice that fish. Nice. Holy oh, cow. Beauty. That is gorgeous fish. Look at the nice. color on that. Oh. Another hatcher fish. Beautiful. Nice. Fish. Oh, wow. You might have just won the derby. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give her a second to calm down. That is good that looking fish. That's a nice hatchet fish. Wow. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, Lauren. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Now that's what we like to see. Okay. Cool. Maybe we should pull that plug through there again. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All of a sudden, yeah, like you say, it took some looking, but you found some fish. You found, some, found a hole. We're going to do that again. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. We're going to find something to hang around. Ten minutes, that's a ten minute strip. Yep. We're going to give her a bonk. Get him. My goodness, what do you got? Pretty fish. That. That's the heavy bead in front of the plug there. <laughs> nice. Great. Nice fish. Beautiful. Nice fish. Thank you. Very nice. Thank we'll you, get Shane. About eight pounds. It's a nice hand. Not quite as big as Dave, but it's missing something. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. a little bit alive. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a little bit of line. Now well, we're having some fun. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, nice fish. Looks like another hatchery fish, too. Got that heavy beat on it again. Yeah. <laughs> that that plug is three to one over the other one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, <laughs> oh, that one's playing hard to get. That's nice fish. He goes underneath the ball, trying to go rod down, but I don't know. Nice fish. Hatchery hand. Oh, You're no. limited. Did you think you were going to limit today? <laughs> Man, I did not. <laughs> wow. But that's awesome. Nice. Boy, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, 30 minutes? Uh -huh. like the twin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Beautiful hand. Oh, oh, okay, sorry, Dan. Oh, there we go. So we done. Now we're cooking. Ouch. Welcome aboard. Awesome. <laughs> nice fish, Reed. Very nice. He ate it. Oh, golly, look he at did. that. He did, didn't he? <laughs> Is that the right direction you want me to? Yeah, up? looking good. Same, you need to get in this photo. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hooked on toys! It's cold outside, but fishing is hot for steelhead on our local rivers and for trout on Rufus Woods and Lake Roosevelt. Don't miss out on these great fishing opportunities. Get to Hooked on Toys and get geared up. They have everything you need to make your day successful and at the best prices you'll find anywhere. Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, or visit them online at hookedontoys.com. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there.
Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. Gaboon Productions LLC is a full-service video production company right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Gaboon is a term coined by my grandfather, commercial fishing in Alaska. It's when a bunch of fish hit your net all at the same time. We capture life as you see it. From filming those special moments to catching something big, Gaboon Productions LLC can record it, edit it, and save it for you forever. We do weddings, theater productions, concerts, reunions, commercials, and more. Go to GaboonProductions.com on the web, check us out on Facebook, and on YouTube. Gaboon Productions LLC, the little video company capturing your big moments. Well, Shane, you called it today. You said, you know, let's try plugs. <laughs> you know what? The temperature might have had something to do with that day. Well, you know, and you know, you mentioned earlier that our area, this region, you know, the Upper Columbia, is known for bobber and jig fishing. Mm -hmm. But there's another way to skin the steelhead. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sir. Sure. It is. Yes, there <laughs> is. And it's effective too. It, it is very effective. And you know, you showed. Thanks for taking the time to show us how you rig those and set them up and i want to thank lauren from heavy beats to show how he adds that little gem to it that little heavy bead trick works really well well as a matter of fact i think five out of the six fish we hooked today were on that rod all but one all but one all but one of the fish yep. that we hooked today had the heavy bead little adjustment made to it yep. so that was pretty impressive too mm -hmm. but gorgeous fish uh you know, that's that's another thing that I'm so proud of our area because we produce beautiful fish mm -hmm. and lots of them. And I think a lot of people don't realize just how good we have it here on the Upper Columbia. And I want to thank you again for getting us out on the water. And you're very welcome, Dave. And I uh, always appreciate having you. Thanks for having the heavy beads guys on the boat. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, awesome fishing. Yeah, it was a great day. And uh, once again, to experience great steelhead fishing in the wintertime, Upper Columbia River, the terrace, make that your home base. Thanks for watching Fish and Magician TV with Dave Graybill. Brought to you by Gaboon Productions, Lake Pateras Inn, Bob File Boats and Motors, Battery Systems, Cooley Playland, Grand Cooley Dam Area Chamber of Commerce, Lyle's Boats, Town Ford, and Hooked on Toys. <laughs>